Eggs are not only a super approachable food that plays a role in pretty much every standard American diet, they are an amazing source of nutrients. Unfortunately, that nutrient content depends directly on what the animal was fed. And as with grass-fed beef, we see a 3 to 10 times variance in certain vitamins and fatty acids. So although eggs, high-fat dairy, high-quality animal products, well, I guess just animal products in general, in American diets might be their only source of fat-soluble vitamins, when you go to the farmer's market and you pay 6 or $7 a dozen for truly pastured eggs, you really are getting six to seven times the amount of vitamins in some cases. So I guess I have to touch on the anti-nutrient avidin in egg whites, which binds to biotin and inhibits the absorption. And people are concerned about this, but uh, if you cook the egg, it only really inhibits about 10 to 20% of that avidin. Thankfully, there's plenty of biotin in the egg itself to have a net gain of biotin in the body. So that anti-nutrient isn't a concern. I mean, if you want to reduce it up to 60%, you have to boil the egg for like two minutes and no one really does that. I personally have only consumed egg yolks in the past and uh, I, I just find I react better to those. And in regards to nutrient profile, 90% of the vitamins are in the egg yolk. Uh, a fair portion of the potassium and selenium and protein is in the egg white, but all of the actual fat soluble vitamins and a lot of the minerals are just in the egg yolk. So that's why I'm comfortable with not consuming the white. Uh, here today I bought uh, five different types of eggs from a local Whole Foods. And at the end here is just a regular commercial white supermarket egg. So we're gonna look at the color variants and what we can safely say here is, you know, non-GMO pastured eggs, darkest yolk. Uh, regular pastured eggs from, uh, this is Vital Farms, slightly lighter yolk. Uh, the organic pastured eggs are slightly lighter again. Uh, the other brand of pastured eggs, again, we're getting lighter and lighter as we go. And the organic omega-3 eggs, uh, again, lighter, but not as light as the regular supermarket commercial egg. One interesting thing, if you add salt to egg yolks, they get much darker. These are these egg yolks, and after I added salt to them, they turn many, many shades darker. Uh, just a little interesting uh, culinary thing that I've noticed. Uh, and we could, we don't really have to look at these eggs. I mean, they're all brown eggs. Uh, for the most part, different sizes. And we can safely say, yeah, the darker egg yolk has more carotenoids, likely more other vitamins, but does it have a high omega-3 content? Because omega-3 content, even though it's probably way higher in these eggs, you know, it's not indicated by a darker egg yolk. So I was going to taste these eggs, but I've had some, I am allergic to eggs. I've had some very bad reactions lately, so uh, I can say though that I've tasted all of these in the past and we, I can give you a comparison just from recollection. The higher quality egg will taste more chickeny almost. It, it sounds weird, but high quality animal foods tend to remind you more of the animal which they came from. They tend to have more complex nutty notes and things like that. Uh, there's definitely a significant taste difference between these eggs. And as with grass fed butter, it tends to be for the better. Uh, whereas people will argue back and forth about grain fed and grass fed steaks all day. Uh, in regards to what I personally used to do, uh, as I said, I would eat only egg yolks. I would buy pastured eggs from my local farmer. I wouldn't really eat any of these eggs. Uh, these range from like 5 to $7 a dozen. Uh, if I had to choose supermarket eggs, I'd probably eat the omega-3 eggs as well as the darkest colored pastured eggs to get an even balance of omega-3s and vitamins because we don't really know uh, if these pastured chickens are getting a high omega-3 content, but... It might be. There might be more omega-3 in this egg yolk as well as more vitamins than the omega-3 eggs. And hypothetically speaking, if you're following a diet that has very high quality egg yolks in it, uh, you wouldn't really need any other vitamins besides vitamin C because vitamin A and omega-3 fatty acid concerns are obtained in high quality eggs. And eggs are the best source of vitamin K2 that most people have access to. And vitamin K2 is one of those vitamins we struggle to get. So as much as I talk about eating certain organs, various animal tissues, you can simply achieve most of your nutrient density with just egg yolks. And that's nice because it's, again, a very easily accessible food for a lot of people. Unfortunately, if you want to obtain 80% of your calories from fat from only egg yolks, uh, you might see some allergy problems come up that you didn't have before, uh, but it is definitely a good way to get a high amount of nutrient-dense vitamins in your diet. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you were eating conventional store-bought eggs, I couldn't really speculate on the vitamin content. 
Uh, I would say that you probably don't need any more K2, but you might want to eat some liver and then maybe get some wild caught fish for your omega-3s. Uh, the big three vitamins we are concerned about are vitamin A, vitamin K2, and omega-3 fatty acids. And egg yolks kind of knock all of those out fairly easily. Uh, I didn't touch on the raw versus cooked or kind of cooking temperatures and stuff. I have noticed that raw egg yolks digest way better than cooked eggs, but I have a feeling it has to do with the egg white. Uh, I'm sure if you lightly cooked an egg yolk, there would be very little variance in digestion, but if you're, if you're cooking your eggs well done, like really hard boiled and stuff, you will notice digestive differences. Uh, I mean, I can't really speculate on the nutrients lost, but I'm sure there is some degradation of fat-soluble vitamins as well as uh, water-soluble vitamin B vitamins. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, I have some stuff in the description down below if you'd like to check it out from social media to uh, like my Amazon shop with stuff that I regularly buy. If you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one stuff, shoot me an email, franka2fano at gmail.com.